Welcome to Pleasant Pop. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hello there, people of the internet. Cameron Pleasant here, back with Pleasant Pop. I, I didn't know if I'd ever even return to this channel, to be honest with you. It's been a really long time. And um, it's not that I've forgotten about the channel. I do think about it a lot. And I do, I do in, in some cases, wish that I'd kept making content. But I just, I didn't have the desire to do so at the time. So I'm back now. I've got my creative juices flowing through my body again and um i thought why not you know a lot of us a lot of people at the moment are stuck at home due to covid19 myself i'm not i'm still working i worked all the way through lockdown i've 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 been lucky in that respect but i still i still have this um desire to be creative and a part of that has come out recently i picked up magic again magic tricks and I've been really, really enjoying that. And I'm considering bringing that to this channel. If anyone, you know, if anyone's interested in that, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'm thinking about bringing it to the, to the channel, maybe doing some street performances, you know. But it's going to be more of a, a journey, I suppose you could say. Like, I'm going to start, start from the bottom and work my way to the top. So the street performances is something that will come later on in the um, evolution of, of all this. But it's not it's not the only thing I want to um, have on this channel. It's just something that I've really been enjoying lately. And it's something I, I do want to share with people because, you know, magic is a really, just a really fun thing. But yeah, so COVID lately, it's been a bit of a, bit of a touchy thing. People have been um, dying, you know, people have been locked down in their houses. It's, it's, it's not been the best time, you know, for any of us, but I think, I think we're going to get through this pretty good, but we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. Um, you know, you have some people saying that it's not as bad as some people are saying, like, I think Elon Musk was saying that he thinks that a lot of the deaths that have been talked about or that have been reported by the media as COVID deaths might not actually be the case. Like, I think he was saying that if someone, you know, without actually being tested, yeah, when they die, if they like coughing or they're having trouble breathing, it gets um, reported as a COVID death, despite the fact that they haven't even been tested. So it's, it's, if that's, if that is the case and that it's a, uh, that's actually very terrible. It really shows the power of the media, if that's the case. I'm hoping, maybe we can leave this behind us. And um, a lot of people want the world to go back to the way, to the way that it was. I I think that it would be good if we could improve upon this. Like the, I think the community sense of people has has gotten so much better lately, and I hope just because you think you don't need it anymore doesn't mean you should let it go humanity together is so much better than than when we're apart so i think if we can learn from this you know aside from all the panic buying and stuff people people have done pretty good and i i want to see i want to see humanity grow from all this we've got so we've got so much to offer and we can do so much better than um we've done in the past so let's let's do that i think you know i'm nobody i'm not I'm, it's not that i know any better than anyone else but i think when you go through trials and stuff i think that you should you should try to do better like we all should like help help your neighbor help the old lady across the road do what you can <laughs> But yeah, I think, I think this isn't going to be too bad. I think we can grow from all this. Other things that have been affected on a lower scale, uh, cinema, you know, restaurants, um, bars and pubs, all, all that stuff's been closed down. A lot of things that people took for granted back when, 
yeah it's all gone it's all coming back soon apparently um i'm not sure if we're if we're ready to start doing all that yet like you can it's fine to say social distancing you know but people um they can't always abide by that it's not in their nature also if other people aren't doing it if other people aren't doing it then they're probably not going to start doing it people are are sheepish creatures unfortunately i think if if COVID is as contagious as uh, people are saying. Look, I know freedom is freedom is a very important thing, and uh, we have we have lost a lot of that lately. But I, I just, I just don't think that we want this outbreak to get worse again. If we can control it, then then I think that's important to do so. I'm not an advocate of the COVID app and I won't download that myself but just you know common sense for yourself common sense you know for your family and you know if you see someone doing the wrong thing try and pull them up on it and if someone pulls you up on it don't be aggressive about it you know just you know just do it just do the right thing what I'm really looking forward to though is uh, the opening of the cinema I'm really missing going to see the new the new movies that are coming out. There was a few that I wanted to see. I wanted to see that Bloodshot. That looked that looked like it could be really cool. Um, all the Marvel movies, DC movies, if they're coming out, which are you know they don't really release those as often as the Marvel movies, but it's still it's still good fun. But yeah, it's just the social distancing. So my my main way of going to cinema to see a movie is the drive in. Although it's better. Then go into a regular movie. If they're going to open up the candy bar, you know, people have to go to the bathroom. There's always going to be some form of interaction with other people. Even if you're in your own car, even if they have the rules, they can't stop you from going to the bathroom, obviously. You need to go, you got to go. And they'll probably want less people there, which would mean less money for, you know, for the company. Um, and at the end of the day, they're going to pay their staff. You know, they're going to pay the staff. They're going to pay their bills, electricity, you know, all of that stuff. It all it all intertwines. And if you're only making, say, just say, for example, you made $1,000 a night and because of COVID and how many people you could let in, you have to keep the candy bar closed or something, you might make $100 that night opposed to um, 1000 And you might have to pay your staff um, out of that 100 that you made $80. And then maybe another $30 on um, on the bills or, or whatever. So you're only making, you're not making any money, you're losing money. So that's that's the way that they're going to look at it when, when they're allowed to open. I saw the film theory on YouTube regarding it, actually. They think that this could be the end of uh, cinema, basically, as we know it. Because people are less willing to pay um, the big dollars now to go and see a movie which is fair enough like when you got the streaming services you know disney netflix um stan uh wherever you are in the world amazon hulu um, you can you can stay home make your own popcorn basically for your monthly fee of paying for netflix opposed to going out to the cinema um i think a lot of families are going to want to do that rather than go, go out to the movies because you look at it, it's about 150, 200 bucks if you want to have the full movie experience uh, when you go out. If you, you know, if you have a decent sized family, so people are happier, especially parents are happier to stay at home and watch movies rather than, yeah, rather than taking out their family to the movies. Not that they don't want to do nice things for their families, but you're still doing something nice, and you still you're still together, and you don't have to listen to those idiots in the back of the cinema freaking laughing and you know someone might bring their baby in you know there's always going to be a downside to going to the movies and you're spending so much as it is that staying at home just doesn't seem like a bad thing to a lot of people i think so that's that but for me i love the i love the cinema experience uh, you know there's some movies you just want to see at the cinemas like i know this wasn't the most popular movie in the world it wasn't not popular, but uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, 
It was amazing at the cinema. I had to say it at the cinema. I didn't watch it at the drive-in because I wanted that surround sound system. And it was beautiful. Like the sounds of the monsters, the sound effects for everything in the movie was excellent. And it had, for me, it had to be seen at the cinema. So that's why I did that. To think in the future that that might not be a thing anymore, um, it does make me sad. It does make me quite sad, but I mean, what can you do? Now, moving on from COVID, this, I think my channel is probably going to be a bit of a mixed channel. I want to I actually start talking about the world and what's happening in it. You know, this channel was initially uh, a gaming channel, in fact. Actually, the reason I made this channel was because of the Final Fantasy TCG. I mean, I was uh, putting videos up of the games, you know, live games, uh, Final Fantasy that would be played in tournaments. When the stores reopen, and if anyone is still interested in doing that, I may, I may bring back the Final Fantasy matches. Uh, I might do commentary over them. So, but that that that's a future. That's definitely a future thing, because. Uh, the gaming stores just aren't opening yet, and I, I, I actually do fear for them because I don't see them as super profitable businesses. I don't know, I don't know much about them, if I'm being honest. But just thinking about it, they don't seem like they make. You know, they're not. You don't have millionaires running these stores, as far as I know. The guy, the guy who runs the store that I go to, could be a millionaire, and I just don't know about it. But I don't think so. The gaming stores are very community based because without the players, without, you know, people going in there and forming friendships, you know, having a reason to want to go there because you don't just go there to play your games. Like the games is why you start going there, but you go there because of the people that you meet. And I think, you know, a lot of people could have found other outlets since then. I'm not saying that's the case, but it's a possibility. And these stores have lost so much money. If if you're renting the store, for example, and you're still paying rent um, for the for the location, and you're not making a salary or you know a decent enough salary, and you've got a lot of stock that you haven't sold, which I think a lot of them are probably smart enough to sell their stock online, so they probably are still making money. But little things like tournaments and people paying to playing tournaments. Um, people pay paying for their beverages and snacks and, um, you know, random purchases. That's another thing. People go in there and making random purchases. Like I, I, I know a guy who, you know, just out of the blue, he'll go out and buy 20 booster packs, open them up, you know, and that makes the store a lot of money. And I'm sure a lot of other, pla other players do that as well. And, um, without that, they're losing out of money. Yeah, sure, people will buy their booster boxes. You know, the Final Fantasy new set just recently came out. You know, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and all the rest of that jazz. I feel like people are getting their, I don't want to say necessities, but we'll use that word anyway, getting their necessities, but they're not getting the extras. You know, they might not be buying card sleeves. They might not be buying deck boxes. I do think that the store will be missing out on, plus paying rent. I haven't seen it yet. But I do, I do think some of these stores would have to be going bankrupt, unfortunately. And uh, I hope not. It seems like, it just, it does seem like the case. There was this gaming store that opened up in Melbourne. I don't remember what it's called. It was, ma it was massive. I saw, I saw some pictures. I might, I'll, I'll find out more information about it and I'll, I'll actually, I'll talk about it in the next video. But it, it pretty much, it just opened, the COVID broke out and, um, they pretty much had to close before they even opened. It was such a shame. That is, um, that is sadly how it is at the moment. But it, it'll get better again, you know. I mean, all these stores will reopen. You know, the ones that survive, new stores will open, um, and people are going to be itching. You know, they're going to want to. They're going to want to go back, and they're going to want to go see their friends. You know, play the games in person. Like I know um, a lot of the people who I played Final Fantasy with are currently playing in. Um, online tournaments well, supported by the store that I play in, which I think is it's it's extremely smart because it, it it makes sure that your player base doesn't you know lose interest in the game in the uh, meantime and it also you know it brings in some sort of revenue and I don't know if they're doing it for every single game 
Like I know Yu-Gi-Oh could do it through Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. Magic could probably do it through um, Octagon. Like like that's what Final Fantasy is doing it through. I'd imagine Magic would be doing it in some form or another. Like Magic's such a massive game that I don't think that they'd want to, you know, I don't think they'd stop playing, to be honest with you. I think they, they enjoy it too much. So I'd imagine that uh, that's what's happening. One thing that has, um, from what I understand, actually prospered during the COVID outbreak is Netflix. Like more than any other streaming service, Netflix is the one that sort of, it's risen up, you know, people are, people are at home, you know, no fault of their own. They, they, they're doing the right thing, staying at home and they're binge watching on Netflix, you know, and yeah, over Disney, over, you know, all the other streaming services, apparently um, Netflix is the one that's that's gone up like more than any other more than any other streaming service which to me i i'm happy about that like there was a big discussion before disney plus came out and it's it's not what people were saying is not a thing that's going to happen overnight anyway but what people are calling disney plus or were calling disney plus is the netflix killer um which i i can see where they're coming from you know i mean Disney is a is a juggernaut. I mean, how do you how do you even compete with them? They can they can have Disney Plus out for years and years and years at a loss, and um, still come back and be the biggest streaming service one day if they want to. But the the thing for me is is that I love Netflix because of its um, diversity. Like it's got it's got so much to offer that I think Disney Plus just doesn't. It's got its own originals which. A lot of them are quite popular, to be quite honest with you, which some of the really good ones, I think, are actually going to be leaving Netflix soon, which is the, the you know, the Marvel, the Marvel shows like uh, Daredevil, uh, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. They're all going to be going. From what I understand, I, I can't confirm that at the moment, but I think Disney's going to get the rights to those and eventually they'll end up on uh, Disney Plus. But at this point, I don't think that's a big deal. Like the people who wanted to see those shows have seen them by now. Although myself, I, I still have to, I still have to finish them. I got a few, yeah, I got a couple of seasons left. I think, uh, did I finish, I think I finished Luke Cage. I think I finished Jessica. I think I got to finish Daredevil. Uh, maybe the Punisher. I can't remember. I think I haven't seen the second season of Punisher yet. So I got to, yeah, I got to get on top of that. But um, yeah, so the people who've seen those, I don't know if it's a, uh, you're not going to get a high number of people subscribed to Disney for those shows. I don't think, I could be wrong. Always for me, because I got Disney Plus, or we have Disney Plus, and um, yeah, the main, the main reason for that is the MCU movies. And yeah, we're trying to watch all the Star Wars movies, but I'm taking, taking my time through all those. But yeah, it's basically the Marvel movies. Like, I don't personally want to watch all the Disney films all the time. Every now and then there might be a, might be one to watch. Little ones might want to watch it. I do have hope for Netflix, to be honest with you. I like, I know they've been in their debt. They've had their troubles. They've had to... The main thing that's going to hurt Netflix is its pricing. It is way more expensive than I think um, any other streaming service, at least any other streaming service that we have. I think it's close. If you want like three screens, I think it's closer to twenty dollars now in Australia. Uh, whereas when it came out in Australia, I think you could get four screens for a lot less than that. I remember. I think like two screens was like eight dollars. Three screens was like ten, twelve dollars, and thirteen, fourteen dollars for four screens. So it's gone up a lot, but they they have made their own content and all the rest of that stuff. So if you only have one streaming service, I think having Netflix is fine. But if you want to have two streaming services, I think it could be a problem for some people. They might say, oh, but I can have Disney Plus. I can have Stan for less than I could have Netflix, which is a good point. But I, I still enjoy Netflix. I like um, the user interface of Netflix is better than any other um, streaming service that I've used currently. So... I'm going to stick with Netflix for as long as I can, but the moment they start implementing ads, or if if they ever start implementing ads, I think that's going to be a problem for most of us because um, that was the same thing with uh, Foxtel. Like 
Foxtel became a joke. You're paying $50, $60 a month. Um, you, you're, you got the same amount of ads as you would on normal TV, if not more. And the content on Foxtel is just, you got freaking 95% bullshit. And then you've got, you know, you got the little good shit, little amounts of good shows like Game of Thrones, which is gone now, which is done. Walking Dead, which became trash. I was a big fan of WWE, so it was a good reason to keep Foxtel. But even that, I've stopped watching. And if I was to ever suggest Foxtel, I'd suggest getting the um, I think it's called Foxtel Now, because um, you can you can choose your package. So if you just want one package, like just to watch the wrestling or something, then you can do that. And then um, if you change your mind, you can just cancel it rather than having to have a contract of some variety, which you know you don't you don't want to get in a contract with them. Like some people used to get Foxtel for the news which I think it's just not necessary anymore. Like you can get all the news on your smartphones now. So to me, and, and, and for movies, as we were just discussing before, uh, streaming services have all the movies that you need. I just, I don't, I can't, I can't justify paying that much for Foxtel or cable TV these days. So I think streaming is the way to go. And like if there's a movie on Foxtel that you want to see, like if there's like one movie you want to see, just buy it. It'll end up cheaper. I think it'll end up cheaper. Like if you pay 15 bucks for the movie on Google Play Store, opposed to pay 50 bucks a month on Foxtel, you're saving money. Unless there's a library of movies you want to watch on Foxtel, I'd, I, couldn't, I couldn't recommend it personally. But, you know, some people still have it and some people still enjoy it, so... There's something about it that people are still liking, but I, I can't personally recommend it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. It's, uh, this has been a really good video today. Just, you know, talking about what's going on in the world, some of the uh, future things planned for this channel. Um, it's, yeah, this has been good. It's good to be back. Uh, if you if you did watch this video all the way through, I, I really appreciate it. I mean, you're, you're giving me your time and I, I do appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. Um, if you could leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, leave a subscribe if you want to. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna try and upload uh, at least a few times a week now. You know, even if it's just a little a rant about what's going on in the world or something like that. I might be doing some live streams, maybe not daily, but maybe a few times a week as well. It'll just be arc, but I think. I think it'll mostly just be me, me having having talks about what's going on in the world, and um, we will implement doing the magic tricks at some point. But for that, I I do want to get myself a proper cameraman, <clears throat> or you know, just you know, someone uh, to hold the camera, just so I don't want to do it all inside. I want to you know go out and perform for people. So I think the best way to do that is have someone with a camera, and. I don't know if we're ready for that yet, but I might. I can show you guys a couple of little tricks in front of this camera, and that that'd be fine. But but we'll we'll get there when we get there. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a great have a great day, great night, um, and stay safe. Peace out.